Good evening. As you recall, on October 9th, Benjamin Mitchell was 22 years old and he was murdered. That was 51 days ago. On October 11th, two days later, 32-year-old Monica Hoffa was murdered. Eight days later, on October 19th, Anthony Niboa murdered. 26 days later, on November 14th, just two weeks ago, 60-year-old Ronald Felton was murdered. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. I am pleased to announce that tonight we will be making an arrest in the Seminole Heights murders. Our detectives are currently working on the charging documents and we will be charging four counts of first degree murder for how Emmanuel Donaldson the third 24 years old now unfortunately I will not have the answers that you are going to want this is an ongoing situation we responded out to um, the area uh, about 2 30 this afternoon we received some information about mr. Donaldson having a firearm at the McDonald's one of uh, his co-workers approached a police officer that is what led us to that through our investigation several hours later we will be charging Donaldson like I said with four counts of first-degree murder I would like to thank the Bureau of Alcohol to uh, I, I think when when I found out there was a gun that uh, and when I we looked at his description it gave us a little more than what we've ever really had. We've run down some guns before, run into some other things. It just felt right. I kind of had a feeling that we were going to get a break. You know, every day we would meet as a group, and we would say, what day is it? And today was day 51. And we discussed yesterday, I said, we're going we're gonna to get a break this week. I was trying to be optimistic. I, can, I have a tendency to be uh, my glass is half empty sometimes, and so I wanted to kind of pump everybody up and – and for whatever reasons, we got a break. Somebody stepped up and did the right thing, and that, that's what we needed. We had said all along that no tip is too small, and somebody stepped forward and gave us what we needed. Uh, unfortunately, I, we knew by coming out here tonight that we would probably create a lot more questions, but the real goal is to let the people of Seminole Heights be able to get a good night's sleep. It's been 51 days that they've been terrorized in their neighborhood. And it is about letting these families know that we're going to bring this person to justice and letting this neighborhood get some rest and hopefully try and put their lives back together. Were you able to talk to any defendants yet? Um, yes, I talked to my mayor. You know, 51 days ago, I said this was a struggle between good and evil. Well, tonight, goodness has won. Tonight, in the battle between darkness and light, light has won. It would not have happened without the amazing police work. I can't tell you, and I know I speak for the people of Seminole Heights, who stood up with us shoulder to shoulder, who never left during the tough times, who never quit on us, nor did they ever quit on the men and women of law enforcement. They had our backs and we had theirs. We could not have done this without their support and the support of this entire community. Tonight is the beginning of when justice will be served. And then the process will occur when this individual rots in hell.